Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're taking a look at the new iOS 4.2 update for the iPad. In this episode specifically, we're taking a look at the AirPrint functionality. Now, one of the things that a lot of people didn't like about previous generations of the iPad was the inability to print anything from it. And that's kind of fixed with AirPrint. And I say kind of because there are a few caveats. There's only a limited number of printers that it actually works with at this point. You can sort of hack it to work with a few other types of printers, but the actual official number of printers that it works with these days is limited to a bunch of them, mostly from HP at this point. There are a number of other printers coming that will be compatible with the feature, according to Steve Jobs, but we'll have to wait a little bit to see. Anyways, let's see how it works with one of the compatible printers. Now, AirPrint doesn't work with every single app on the iPad, but it does work with a number of them that you would think would support printing, like a web browser, for example, or a word processing program. Of course, one of the things you need is a printer that's compatible with AirPrint. In this case, we have the Hewlett Packard PhotoSmart C310 printer. First thing we want to do is set it up on our wireless network, the one that we use our iPad on. So we'll choose the network from the menu system, and then enter in the password if it has one. The iPad should be able to see it once it's connected. To print something, you go into the app that you want to print from, for example, Safari. And in this case, we use the share icon at the top. Choose the print option. The printer may appear, otherwise you'll choose the select printer and then find it on the network. Select the number of copies you want to print, and then click the print button. For another example, in pages, you'll look at the tools menu at the top. Again, if the printer doesn't automatically appear, choose select printer and choose it. Then choose the number of copies, and then click print. Then you wait for your pages to print, and you're done. Now, they like said there's a limited number of printers that are available out there that actually accept AirPrint at this point. There is another tool out there called the AirPrint Hacktivator. It isn't officially sanctioned by Apple, so use it at your own risk, but it does allow you to print to a USB printer connected to a wireless device on your network, such as your MacBook or an iMac. That's it for AirPrint. Don't forget to check out the other parts in this series where we show you how to use other functions on the iOS 4.2 update for the iPad. And don't forget to check out the show notes for this and all the other parts in the series at butterscotch.com.